I have one more thing I want to show you today before we go on. The Pokemon World Tournament used to be a location called Cold Storage. Since then, the cold storage was destroyed and it was turned into this after Driftvale City became fabulously wealthy. We can all thank Clay's success for that. A long time ago, I caught a herdier in cold storage. And I told you, it's not super important that you catch a Pokemon here. I just want to do it for something much, much later, okay? That's all the only reason that I'm doing it. Later just wasn't in the same game. Later is now. Here, have an adamant sigil if you loser. Because Cold Storage was outright overwritten in memory and doesn't appear in this game, there's a small oversight where a Pokemon caught in Cold Storage and then traded to Black 2 and White 2 will show as being caught at the put. Here's what that screen first looked like. Just a funny little oversight, you know? I don't see this talked about very much, so I wanted to draw attention to it. And now, all this time later, I finally have. Oh, Blaze, can you come with me for a moment? I'm already an expert in all things weather chair, and you can't teach me anything. No one really talks about it, but the record shows there was a sudden drop in temperature near Lacanosa Town. It was only for a moment, but it went down as low as negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castelia City in Driftvale City. On top of that, that incident with Team Plasma. I think this needs some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. I'll give you this. It's a hidden machine that contains Surf. With this, please go to different places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn Surf, and you can travel across the water. I love weather! <laughs> when it gives me things like this, I can't help but love it. I'm sorry to have slowed you down. Some strange things might be happening, so be careful on your journey. On that note, the exodus has come! Aiden is getting a water move! Run! We have needed this for so freaking long, Aiden was always just the exact wrong levels to never get any moves at all that would help with that type. Let's give it. I think I'll get rid of Dig. That gives me an edge against electric types, but I'm slow. Uh, it gives me an edge against rock types, which Surf will deal with. Acid armor could be useful for some situations. I think that one, yeah. Good. I'm gonna make a few other changes to the team as well. Brick Break is probably going to end up being one of McFly's final moves in his uh, move set that I ultimately want him to have. So we'll get rid of... Hmm. I think, say bye to light screen. And furthermore, Harmony is battle ready. Level 32, no more sitting in the back for you. You're gonna start earning your keep around here, Missy. I've given her the expert belt that she's compatible with so many moves and counters the types that she switches into very, very well. But with Aiden's newfound strength across the water, there's water, water everywhere and so much to get with Surf all over the world, both items and Pokemon, mind you. We're gonna do that before going any further. Didn't mean to click on that. We're gonna start off by going to the put. As in Relic Passage, who could have seen this one coming? There's water, and it contains one of the most useful encounters we can get now. Basculin! The first Pokemon with three regular abilities. This Pokemon is found in almost all caves and above ground water in a wide variety of levels. Relic Passage is the best place to catch it right away with it showing up from levels 10 all the way up to 30. If playing Black 2, you get Red Stripes with the access to Reckless while surfing normally, with the Blue Stripes getting Rock Cannon only happening in Rippling Water. In White 2, it's flipped, with Blue Stripes normally and Red Stripes in Rippling Water. Even though I've spent so much time talking about ability variants, all of this is pretty much moot because Adaptability is by far the strongest of the three abilities and both forms have it. It's a fast and physical fighter, and with that ability, it can outdamage water Pokemon with higher stats such as Samurai. As good as its Aqua Jet is, I gotta dock a few points for Aqua Tail being its main move because I don't like relying on 90% accuracy all the time. Basculin's weak point is poor type coverage causing it to get walled a lot. It's water, crunch, and some normal move no matter what for such a long time, and anyone can see how difficult that would be to work with. I'd say this fits in on teams that already have a strategy down and just need a strong priority move or a water attacker. A big pearl! Dude! 
I gotta say, pretty decent place to pick up a team member. Even the Meryl right there was the same level as McFly, and thus repels didn't work on it. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. I made a mistake. I had Meryl's move pool mistaken for Black and White 1. It was updated, and its moves are actually pretty good at this point in time, so I bump it up to a recommendation. Missed out on the screen shard the first time around. Because I keep forgetting to turn on my dowsing machine. Maybe this is just what getting old is. On the other end of Relic Passage is Castelia Sewers, which is drained in the winter, moist and juicy in the summer. This is the kind of place that just becomes super easy to navigate now that we have the ability to cross the water. This means that areas that were previously inaccessible when the uh, area was flooded might no longer be so. Just get used to finding a lot of dead ends. It happens sometimes. Going down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's an item. There's an item. See it. See it. I need to turn on my dowsing machine. Gosh. Uh, my memory. Black sludge. That is leftovers for poison types only. Really useful item because leftovers is an excellent filler item. And if you happen to have a poison type on the team, that means that you can effectively have leftovers twice, even inside of battle facilities where they ban duplicate health items. Up this way, in the wet spot, we got a poison gem! Ew, the poop solidified over time. And then I can go onto this, go down and get an HP up! Hells yeah. HP up! Better give that to Aiden. 133 now. God, this place is so lucrative. I guess everyone was flushing money down the toilet. Backtracking a bit, I found a max repel. Offset the one that you used to get all this way here. And then I can surf on this water. And that gets me moderately down. This is a very complicated network of mazes. Go this way instead. Please let there not be offensive. Thank you. That's got TM41 Torment. That's a status move that makes so the enemy can't use the same move two times in a row, which could be awfully useful if they only have one move that you're afraid of and it limits their damage output effectively. Or if they got some kind of horrible status move, they just won't stop spamming. You know that they're gonna go all the way to plus six if they get half the chance. Got an Ultra Ball. Got a little gushy on it, but I think I could give it to a nice poison type and, uh, you know, they'd appreciate the artistic expression on it. There's this place. Yeah, I haven't talked to you in a while. What'd you find today? Ah. Meow? They found a meow? Oh, they found a meow! Dang, a full restore! I never go back and see this guy. If there was a travel medallion that I could stick in front of him and fast travel here whenever I wanted, I probably would, but he, he don't, so I don't. Hey, trainer, I'm clean in here, so out of the way! You are fighting a losing battle, my dude. Do they, do they have janitors and sewer tunnels? I can't imagine that they do, but there's probably problems down there that they do have to go in and clean out every once in a while, otherwise things can end up getting clogged up. In Castelia Sewers with Surf, there is what barely qualifies as one new Pokemon. <laughs> what am I doing? I just taught McFly Brick Break and I'm switching out. <laughs> I was gonna be like, hey, let's swap out to Pig Naughty and let him try out his new Brick Break because. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, <laughs> completely lost the strategy here, yet uh, it's not hurting me in any way whatsoever. You're paralyzed. I feel like the outcome and damage was exactly the same regardless of what if I went for the strategy or didn't. Playing Persona 5 keeps having me think like, oh no, if I attack somebody who's paralyzed physically, then I'll get paralyzed myself, but no, that's not a thing. And uh, Mechanics from different games getting crossed with wires in my mind. It's just been happening more and more lately. Again, maybe I'm just getting old. This is a rather new place. Found a rappel here. Somebody discovered uh, super repels and didn't want their old ones anymore. Uh, I, I wasn't gonna take your stuff. Promise, I was just looking at it. Hey, this is our secret spot. You can't come waltzing in here like you own the place. Looks like we have angered the wrong crowd. Is it really the wrong crowd though? I mean, he's got a crocodile on his bomber right there and I kind of like that. And besides Billy Joe's hanging out here, I can't get too mad at that. Scraggy. 
Seems like a pretty easy one to take out. Let's see if we can do a one-hit OK KO. No. And he's scraggy, was bulky, but yikes. I love how he lifts up his pants, and then he drops him. He's like, yo, and then just lets him fall down. Take him out. Roughneck Ricky. Are people out from outside so strong? You aren't one of us, but I don't mind tough trainers. This worn out lot is our paradise. We're not gonna let some stranger come in and trash the place. Graffiti art on the wall is pretty impressive. There is one new Pokemon that is obtainable inside of Castelia sewers with Surf, and it's... Muck is as bad as it smells. It's a special tank and nothing more. That attack stat is nice, but it learns absolutely nothing worthwhile. Poison jab, elemental punches, and dig. <laughs> it's better to just use something else because poison only beats grass and you already have something that can learn punches, promise. Even when dedicated wholly to taking shots, its status moves are the definition of basic and it isn't worth considering over anything else. You know it's bad when you're outclassed by a pile of trash. I would say Muck's held items make it worthwhile, but they really don't either. We got a black sludge at the exact same moment that we could get Muck in the same area, and the Toxic Orb's only a 1% chance. I don't think it's worth grinding for even if you're just gonna steal its items. It's just garbage. Well, no, it's sewage. Well, that's okay. We're encountering Billy Joe in a dark alley. She's gonna threaten us by making Roxy sing directly into our ears. No, she's not actually, she's Tina. Just a mere cosplayer of Billy Joe. She's got a Crocorock, so I guess that makes you sort of the leader of this gang. A little disappointing that your Pokemon's not fully evolved when you're sort of advertising that it is. I'm over here threatening to sue a gang for false advertising in their branding. We'll finally do our Brick Break after an Intimidate. No, it doesn't quite take it. Guess I'm switching out. Huh, not the fight that I expected this to happen in, but it looks like it's Harmony's time to shine. Crocorock's digging underground, I'm immune to that. Good time to switch out. Doesn't affect Harmony. We'll go for Air Cutter. If you try that again, I could always just do a Reflect, because I'll get a free turn to set up against you. Nah, I didn't need it. Doing good. Out with the old, in with the new, taking out a Crocorock. And we got a Liper. Multiple Dark types here. Uh, we'll just try Air Cutter again. You're awfully frail. Oh, fake out. Okay, let's try that again. Torment. Just heard all about that. Yeah, whoa! I know that Lipert's pretty frail, but that was still pretty impressive to one-shot that when it was a little higher level than yourself. Pat on the back there, Harmony. You did good. People like you deserve a medal. Okay, I've decided. You're the new boss of this area. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. New buildings create old places. Got it? Even in Castilia City has an underbelly. You're a leader now, and Tina's second in command. All right, let's dance. I recognize toughness when I see it, so you're one of us now. And for that, we get a Black Glasses. Raises the power of dark type moves, which I don't really care about, unfortunately. So that's Castelia Sewers for you, And because she said it, she willed it into existence. Hey, every, oh, Ace Pilot, that's for flying. Castelia Boss! Hey, every one of you should say out loud right now, or maybe in a comment or just anything. All of you should tell me that I deserve a medal right about now, okay? Apparently it really works, and that's the only way I'm ever gonna get the 250 medals, okay? Nimbasa City is our next stop. We're still going with this man. There is just that much for us to do. Out on Route 16, I found a tiny mushroom. I might have already grabbed this because uh, mushrooms regrow every few days. I wouldn't recommend going out onto every route every day to check this because it's not the best returns, but it's there if you happen to see it. There's a tiny, and I mean teeny, body of water that I can't fa Get in the water, Rosa! Thank you! Man, you know you're in trouble when I call you by your official name, but there's a little bit of water here. And within that, we can find a new wild Pokemon. Weasel, an uncharacteristically zippy water type. It breaks the mold further by being physical based. However, its moves it learns are all overwhelmingly special based. 
It's not horrible at using them, but it is a bit lacking. Aqua Tail and Aqua Jet are learnable, as are Ice Beam and Ice Punch. Besides that, Brick Break? I'd say to seriously consider Return for another move, but if it's a speedy guy with water and ice moves you're after, here you are. The ability ends up being kind of useless because it's so fast anyway and learns Aqua Jet, so there aren't a ton of situations where it would make sense to spend a turn setting that up. Between the ripples is Floatzel at a similar level. Good luck actually getting a ripple to appear below the waterfall. Out on the Western Peninsula is a surprising amount of stuff that wasn't accessible to us from the very beginning. Verbank City has got all of this water underneath it with all these little walkways down here. This is another one of those items that I've been able to see for the last actually 100 hours of gameplay, counting that all that sea gear time, that's a little depressing, but I haven't been able to get it. A rare candy! Items they tease for half the game really are worth the hype. Pokestar Studios! I am dead serious! W water? No, we don't want any water. That water down there is toxic waste infested. This is Hollywood. If we go all the way to the right, the water is a deep blue. Would you like to surf on it? Blaze, are you feeling okay? Do you need a break? It seems like in every Pokemon game, there is a tree or a statue or a wall or just something that you can surf on. And I don't know why this keeps happening. It dates all the way back to red and blue where you could surf and fish on statues and Pokemon gyms. I guess maybe early in development, they have water set to one ID and then they have walls set to a different ID. And then at some point during development, it changes and there's a few tiles that get missed. And then Pokemon fans find it because that's just what they do. Not sure how it keeps happening. Ah, that violin. It's so beautiful and just makes you so excited to go out on a journey, like an early route theme should. Out on Route 20, didn't forget this time, we can get a heart scale. Then down here, there's trainers hidden inside these leaves in autumn only. Some of the most remote trainer battles in the game. Those footsteps, I heard you drawing near. I have been waiting for you. You were playing the long game, stalking me when I was talking to Cheren and getting surf and then going to an area that you know how to be. Your name is Leaf? Dude, you have the same name as one of the pro tags in the series. Aiden's not a horrible choice for this fight thanks to that signal beam, but I was kind of hoping to get a chance to use my brand spanking new surf because it's one of the best moves in the game. The debate of surf versus hydro pump as the best water move has been going on for a while, and then Scald came along and bashed them all into second place. Oh, I get to try out surf! Aiden has a water move! Majin Buu is at full power! Excellent, excellent move, and just a super reliable bread and butter that Aiden's gonna be using from here on out. Even without type effectiveness, we still did a lot. It's 90 power, I believe? 95 power, shoot. Even better. Going for a bug bite? It's pretty intimidating getting bit by a thing like that. I think it's like five feet tall. Oh. But we're doing fine. Got a critical hit, then it wasn't even useful. Aiden knows there's no kill like overkill. Man. <laughs> Nah, I don't need Haze. That removes additional effects that Pokemon have laid down on themselves, so like attack buffs and stuff like that. Does it for both sides. I had actually been meaning to give you something. I never read what they say. I was imagining how a berm was feeling wrapped in a cloak of leaves. Rare candy right after taking care of you and a max revive! Hell yeah! Okay, uh, oh, I got stuck in the leaves. It's okay. Oh, I got stuck in the leaves again. Uh, let's balance that out with a lump. While we're fighting all these trainers, there's no new Pokemon available to us on Route 20, but there's quite a few out on Route 4 and no items, so we'll go over those now. Frillish! This cute, cuddly killer of children has the unique type of Water and Ghost. Good Pokemon, kind of a sorry time for it to come up because it maxes out at level 15. Better off catching this one later on. Thankfully, it's got strong water moves due to Surf and Scald, and it will get Shadow Ball and Ominous Wind with a little more time. 
Beyond that, it's got a steady stream of good moves like Dark Pulse, Psychic, Ice Beam, and most notably, it can expect to find a Will-O-Wisp very soon. This is a tank with amazing special resilience and decent physical defense not to be ignored either. If we're talking about battle facilities, it shines ever brighter there thanks to both recover and water absorb. Regardless of where it's used, water absorb is amazing for set battles, giving the tank a second wind in the same fight. Between these recovery options and high stats, you can just burn the muscly opponents if at all possible to utterly shut them down. I wouldn't even call Curse Body a poor option either. There's multiple sets that can work wonders for it. Now, it sounds like I'm missing something big here, and a lot of my praise is reserved for the evolution when it doesn't get that until level 40. This would be a pretty bad point against it, but... Jellicent is found rarely in rippling grass anywhere where you can find Frillish. You can just start with this without missing out on a single move. It's a bit of a hunt, but you will be rewarded. Aren't strong rare Pokemon grand? Oh! Gosh, look at how much of its soul was stolen by taking out the God Slayer himself. You can't do that, man. There are dire consequences to taking out Aiden in a battle. Are you gonna KO yourself before I even get to move? <laughs> the Rocky Helmet Man! Pignati just dressed for the occasion. Didn't have to do anything, didn't have to do anything more than that. Found some berries lying around, so here. Aleppa Berry, where'd you find that lying around? You can't just find those on the ground. I think you might be extorting that stuff. So, a lot of routes do this, where there's dark grass only accessible after getting a certain HM move, so that there's high-level Pokémon on that route that you couldn't access before, yet... Route 20 is just kind of underwhelming in that regard. The levels even suck, too. These would be good levels for... the beginning, I suppose? Just not right now. Are we gonna be able to get away from this with Trap Inch? Okay, good, good. Thank you. I was worried Jade was gonna hold this up. Uh, back to Route 4, there's one more Pokémon there. Man, and in the middle of such a positive note, too. Okay, so Mega Love Disc here is a tanky healer. This is definitely a support player thanks to moves like Wish, Healing Wish, Wide Guard, Helping Hand, and Protect. And that's just from Level Up. This is a Pokemon meant for double and triple battles where it can heal and power up teammates. Whereas in singles, it just toxic stalls and uses Wish to heal. To help it in its mission, just look at that HP. It sports some of the strongest physical bulk in Unova. While Alamomola does learn a lot of strong attacks, most of them are special and just pfft, at that special stat. It only has talent at using Aqua Jet, Wake Up Slap, Return, and Waterfall. While not outright bad, you can see how it's kind of weak. I used to think this was outright garbage in singles, but I actually think it's a little underrated now if you want a utility, but only that. Hold up a second. Yeah, this is probably the only time that this heal has ever been even mildly useful. Congratulations, you're not totally worthless. There's another area of Route 20 that uh, you're thinking of, and I assure you that you need another HM in order to get there, so we're not doing that. But what we are doing is Flockacy Ranch. For in the back corner, barely visible to the naked... Uh, swimmer, uh, I'm trying to say somebody who doesn't have surf, but it just came out wrong. You can find a hidden grotto! Inside of it, I find another firm poop. But more importantly, there are two new Pokemon found here, which are... eh... Meryl with Sap Sipper sounds pretty cool. Gra adds a grass immunity and even powers up when hit by it. Situationally useful in fights where they're packing some grass, but it's better to have huge power to just have doubled physical damage all the time. Azumarill's attack stat is quite low without any buffs. Hurtier with Scrappy. Come on. It has Intimidate and Sand Rush for its normal abilities. And you're gonna try selling me on hitting a ghost type with return? It learns Crunch! Why would you do this? It's not like I'm taking a crap. I, I don't. 
another hidden item that I can see is there, but can't get there. It's there, but needs another move. Ugh. Hurts me, man, just piling them on. I get one out of the two items that I know about, but can't get, but then you just pile on another right away. Out on Route 19, uh, somewhere around here. Is it in the wall? No. Um. Where is this? It looks like... Up on the ledge, maybe? Aha! <laughs> Gee, it's almost like the solution is the new... Oh, it was a rippling water that appeared behind my head. Hey, Basky. Uh, you look like a Rebuta Berry. I, I just thought you should know that, because I make Basculin aware of that fact around the time. Um. I'm sure you've heard it your entire life, especially in high school, where people just would not stop making fun of you, but, you know, I just, you know, just wanted you to be aware of the fact, just in case. Got a water stone! And as we see these clouds beautifully reflected in the water, ah, there's just some stairs up here, so you too can break your ankle if you so wish. Expert Bell! That's the second one of those that we've gotten. And then back up this way is a rather visible nest ball. Just in time for us to get into level 30 wild Pokemon and for these things to mean nothing. We're coming home, the only place that's never too far. When adventure comes our way, we'll go back and play. There's one thing here and it's in our front yard. <laughs> Deep within mom's garden, she has been hiding from us. TM53 energy ball. That's a grass type special version of a. Uh, that's a grass type special move with a chance of lowering special defense, essentially a reskin of Shadow Ball. Has 80 power. And that is learnable by Harmony. That'll give her an edge against the rock types that she would normally struggle against. For that, we'll get rid of Reflect for right now. We're gonna be fighting some rock types in the not too distant future, so that's good to have. Ending on us making it back home, that's every single new place we can access with Surf. Except some places out on Route 6 where all of this got started. I'm gonna go rest up at home, and next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we explore all of Route 6 with our new Surf HM. See you guys then.